Hey everybody, this is um, Ty, aka Jingy Fun. Um, the video I'm making today is basically about talking about um, transitioning from bisexuality to homosexuality. Um, the subject's been on my mind a lot lately because, uh, well, for one, I've been going, I'm going through it right now, and I've been talking to a lot of my friends about it, and I've been talking to, uh, you know, the girlfriends and the guy friends, and I've been talking to my ex, who's become one of my good friends, about, you know, me thinking that I'm no longer bisexual, if you can, like, not be bisexual anymore. I don't know. I haven't talked to anybody that said, well, they went from liking girls and guys to just liking girls. But, um, I've come to find that I just, um, for whatever reason, I do not find men attractive. I don't desire to be in a relationship with them. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not a man hater. You know, a lot of my good friends are males. Um, I get along great with them and I attract some, but I just don't have an interest in being with one anymore. And, it, and it's weird because I, I really don't know what caused the change. I've considered myself bisexual ever since, you know, I was young and junior high, you know, um, I always, but in junior high and high school, I always dated boys because I didn't know of any girls, because I wasn't out as being a bisexual, and so with nobody else being out also saying they're bisexual or lesbian, I really didn't get an opportunity to meet any girls that like girls like I did. Except for my sophomore year, where uh, I met my very first girlfriend. Uh, she was this chick that I went to school with. Uh, we was in the class together, and this girl acted like she hated me. She would pick on me all the time, call me names, call me ugly. And I've just never been the type of person to get in fights over like minor stuff like that. To me, that was minor. Um, unless you put your hands on me, or you're threatening you know, me directly or somebody like my sister or my brother, then I'm not the violent type. You have to really just get me to a point where I just want to do something because I'm not a violent person. But, uh, but yeah, she would just always pick on me in class and everything. And we ended up going to the principal's office and me and her got into it. And um, it was just crazy. She would just would not leave me alone. The guy that I was dating at the time, she ended up dating him. And he cheated on me with her, so we had that beef over him, and it was just a crazy situation, and, you know, we I think we had, like, spring break, summer break, some kind of break we had, and she ended up hitting me up online, it was like, you don't even realize the reason why I did all that stuff to you, because I had a crush on you, and I liked you, and, and that was my way of expressing it, because I didn't know what else to do. And so I was like, really? You thought being mean to me and causing me all that grief is going to make me understand that you like me? But anyway, but yeah, me and her started dating after that. And it was hard, you know, dating a girl because she was more open about who she was than I was at the time. And it just scared the mess out of me. But anyway, but yeah, that was my first girlfriend. Um, And so I dated her. Then after I stopped dating her, I started dating um, my ex-boyfriend, who cheated on me with her, which is kind of funny, who later became my husband. And so I'm the type of person, when I'm with you, I'm with you, I don't cheat. I mean, I'm, just, I'm, I'm a big person on, you know, fidelity. And so even when I was with him, I always had, you know, I will, like, you, you know, even though you're married, you're not dead, you're still alive. So I always look at girls like, dang, you know, she's hot, or she's cute, or, you know, hey, or oh, whatever. So I always had those feelings. And my husband knew at the time. He, he knew I like girls and I like guys. But he felt like, you know, since I was married to him and everything was going to be everything. And I wouldn't have those thoughts or those feelings anymore. But, you know, even though I was faithful to my husband, I did love him. I still love him now. It, you know, the feelings never went away. So uh, a couple years, we were married for six years and we separated and and divorced after that not because of the bisexual thing just because you know it wasn't a good marriage no let me not say that. it was a good marriage it just got to a point we didn't want to be with each other that's that's really what it was about but um so i've been trying like after me and several i was trying to date guys and i just 
I don't know if I have that taste in men, but like all the guys I I try to date or whatever, it just didn't work out. Not that all of them were bad guys. Like some are really cool. Some are my friends now, which is funny. You know, I collect guy friends like loose change. I don't know why. I'm a, I guess because I'm like a boyish girl because I'm into sports, video games, stuff like that. I don't know. But anyway, which is funny because I'm a feel. I know, right? Really. So, um, but yeah, it's just, it's crazy because, you know, even with me dating guys, you know, I still like girls. But yet again, really didn't know how to be an adult and hit the, the lesbian scene and know where to meet girls. At. And I still, you know, I don't know all the spots now. I don't. But, you know, I've been trying to date girls. Got on Downlink and my ex, you know, would tell me about some girls or whatever that, you know, she knew were gay or lesbian or whatever. And so I'm still, I'm still looking for, but I guess back to the original subject, I don't know if you can transfer, trans, well, transfer over from bisexuality to homosexuality. You know, I don't know if I can be a bisexual to being a straight lesbian. I don't know, can I carry that lesbian title? And, and if I can carry the lesbian title, does it make me less of a lesbian because I have a son? Because I do have a son, I have a baby. Well, he's not a baby, he's a toddler, but he's still my baby. But, um, you know, once you have kids, are you always considered bisexual? Can I transition from bisexual to being a lesbian? And, cause, and I would talk to my ex-girlfriend about it because uh, we was talking and I was getting ready for my Junior Fine show with, with the Drag Kings girls and men come to Club Pinks to check us out. But, you know what? And I told her when I was in my little drag outfit, I was like, man, I feel so gay right now. She's like, Ty, you are gay. You're gay. And I was like, I think I am gay now. She was like, do you like guys anymore? I was like, no. She was like, you been dating them? No. Sex? No. She was like, then you're a lesbian. I was like, well, can I carry that title? You know? And I'm not a big person on labels or whatever because... You know, I just want to be with somebody that can accept me as the person I am, that can love me, that I'm capable of loving them, and, you know, everything can be everything. So, is it, I mean, can you? I don't know. I don't know. And so, if I had to put a title on me at this point, I would use the title pansexual and I know a lot of you guys haven't heard that word I hadn't had heard the word but I was watching this uh this FTM and he used the title on himself because you know even though he's FTM which means female to male he's transsexual that even though he's transitioning he'll still date guys and he'll date girls it does it it matters to him not and that's Passexual means you just have open sexuality. You're falling in love with the person, not the gender. So I guess that's where I'm at now because, you know, I, I'm I'm still open, you know, to dating guys, girls, bisexual, lesbians, you know, even transgender. You know, I just I'm I'm just open because I'm just looking for the right person. I don't know who the right person is. I can't say that even though I'm not attracted to men right now, that a woman would be, you know, the best mate for me. I don't know. But I am feeling the ladies right now. But yeah, I don't know. But if you have any thoughts, or you if you have an answer for me, I appreciate it. Just you know, leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel, add me as a friend. You can inbox me. I'm on DL. You can find me on DL, uh, Facebook, Twitter. Tumblr, all the social networking sites out there. And I'm going to leave all those links right there. Or you can look on my channel there on there as well. Well, thank you guys for watching the video. And I hope you can help us with that. Alright, love you.